Hey, good morning. Welcome to 50 Questions Friday for February 11th, 2022. My apologies here. Just need just a moment to finish getting set up. I didn't realize it was after our time already. Was working on the the um, product page for the quantum heart pendant, which is what we're going to talk about here later today and that we're going to be releasing here today. So anyway, um, again, if you haven't been here, please do come down if you're live uh, down on the chat. And we have some great people who are always here on chat that can also assist and help. And what I'm going to do is release this web page and activate it, which is the quantum heart coil pendant. And so it is officially going to be released right now. Okay. Um, and there is a bit of, um, Sorry, I'm distracted here with my web page. Oh, no. Well, I spent the last hour doing a write-up on the um, quantum wisdom pendant, but I see that it just erased my entire write-up on this thing. So if you do go to the web page as of right now, um, there's absolutely no write-up, which is okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Checking in here with chat. Good morning from North Carolina, Maine, UK, Cali, Alberta. Thank you all for being here today. And again, if you have questions in your life, uh, please do drop them down here on the questions tab and we will go ahead and get started with, um, the trinity breath to go into the heart space here this morning as we begin each and every one of our gatherings so just closing your eyes if you wish putting your attention onto the physical heart where you find your light your soul's fire imagining connecting heart to heart with the earth and breathing in that light and that support of the earth up into the heart And next, we connect heart to heart with creation, source, soul, creator, God, breathing in that light, that supporting energy into the heart. The third breath of this Trinity breath is breathing in both from the earth and creation, bringing both energies together through you in the heart. So you are grounded, connected and supported in the heart space. All right. So here we go. We'll jump over to questions here this morning. Um, and I'll, we'll, we'll chat about some product, new products here in a few, as well as um, I'll introduce you guys to a new energy we just started working with yesterday. And we'll do that as our meditation here at the end. All right. So a question from Alan. Can you work with the consciousness of electricity? What is the most suitable tool? Do you have a meditation about this? So, yes, we do work with the consciousness of electricity. It began um, uh, quite a few years ago. We were making meter rings. They were the, the sacred cube at the 144 megahertz ring. We were still working with the older um, frequencies from Slim. And when you take a, a ring, and you place it, where's all my rings at? Here we go. We take a ring, the old style rings of 144 megahertz that didn't have the etheric templates, it didn't have consciousness of crystals or electricity or water or anything in it. It was simply a tensor field. That tensor field you could put around the electrical meter and anything within this tensor field, it would harmonize that electromagnetic field. But we found that it would it would only harmonize that field that is within the ring 
it would not work anywhere else on the property for or the electrical so what we did with the very first um ring that we made for electrical was we brought in not only the consciousness of electricity but we also brought in the consciousness of the earth of copper of the earth elementals because your electrical systems are also grounded into the earth and so once we brought in the consciousness of electricity and, and gaia and the elementals and copper then we were able to see that once you put a ring and it connects that field connects anywhere into your electrical system it doesn't have to be over the meter it can be an electrical plug-in or on your transformer box that sits out in the yard as long as these fields then connect into that electromagnetic field of your household current the consciousness of electricity then allows and carries this tensor field and the transformation of discordant electromagnetics chaotic electricity which causes the issues the consciousness of electricity and gaia and the elementals then carry this field of harmonizing all the way through the electrical current all the way to the transformer box and connects to every household or business connected to that transformer so yes the consciousness of electricity um, that is actually found in all of our tools because we put it into some of our earlier tools and every time we create a new field frequency ring energetic it builds upon all of the others so within any of these newer rings you will also find that consciousness of electricity so if you wish to work with it just sit with one of the rings because that is where you will find it um, well it's just an easy way to find it and access it you can find it by sitting in your home or about anywhere in the world but the rings will help with your connection um, to that consciousness of electricity if you wish to work with it. Um, have you ever made a generator with a light fixture in it, like a generator lamp? Um, you know, for for a while, hey there, Micah. Um, for a while, we were actually making, um, we, we searched all over. We, we looked for specific red LEDs and this was back when, you know, this was like eight years ago. There wasn't as many LED manufacturers out there as there are now. You know, it was still a little bit of a newer field, especially working with that red LED. We were finding that there was a very specific bandwidth. It was like around 660 is what the red LED is. But we found that with a tensor field in that red LED, that, that beneficial um, energetics of the LED, that red LED, will harmonize with the tensor field so then that led which can travel for miles can also carry that field of the ring with it so for a while we had found these small led red lights we were taking small tensor field generators collapsing them wrapping around those leds and we were selling those lights with the generators for quite some time um, we had a gentleman in Spain who was working on bone cancer, um, you know, treatment. Uh, he was a practitioner. He ordered lots of those because they, with that tensor field, they were able to then, that red LED light could permeate into bone by, by using that tensor field and that carrier wave. Um, so as far as tensor field generators and working with light, um, it's a fantastic idea there's a lot of people out there with those crystal healing beds that use the crystals and the led lights through them they use like a wi-fi ring and put that wi-fi ring over the crystals um and so using the tensor fields with light is a fantastic thing to do and yes a generator can actually broadcast that out so if you have specific frequencies of light that you're working with that you like generators or the rings are a fantastic way to work with them um let's see i am any advice or meditation to help activate imagination ability for people who see only black image in their mind's eye so 
when I first started my path and my path partner at the time, she was able to see all these things and her sight was phenomenal. Um, I couldn't see a thing at the time. I had a knowingness about stuff, but I really wanted to see. So for a year or so, Every night before I go to bed, of course, I would sleep with as many tools as I could with me, you know, a giant ring at the head of my bed, everything else that I could, um, which can help. But really what I did to increase my sight was every night before I went to bed, I would go into the heart. I would ask my soul to bring through all activations, attunements that I need to be able to start to see. And I really wanted to see like, like a lot of people around me did. Um, and so it was some time, you know, like a year, but I began to see, um, it wasn't the things that I wanted to see because there is such an infinite amount of bandwidth, the frequency of, of reality out there that we can only perceive certain bandwidths of that. And so, the bandwidths that I was perceiving were more along the lines of what I needed to do, the clearing work that I was doing, which was the dark stuff and the entities and the ghosts and the waywards and all the dense energies is what I ended up being able to see. But, you know, just ask your soul for, for that help is, is my advice. And that's, that's what I did for myself to begin to see was just ask for all the downloads and activations at night while I was sleeping. Um, so let's see, just want to make sure that we don't have any questions from email here this morning. Nope. It looks like we are good. Just personal emails here. Um, so I guess we could talk a little bit about the, the new tools. Um, one of them, as we saw last week, was the, um, the larger version of this, the Alchemist Halo. This little version here, um, I believe we're just going to put on the prototype page. We made a few of these of this wrist alchemist, um, this wrist alchemist halo. I'm not sure what we're going to call it, but it's an alchemist halo is what we call the, the large one. Um, so we might just call it a three inch alchemist halo or wrist alchemist halo. But anyway, I'm wearing, um, I've been wearing these for a few days. I really do like the energetics of these. Um, but anyway, the smaller version we'll probably put onto the prototype page here as well as, um, and I'm hoping to have that done here over the weekend maybe today, um, as well as some leather wrist bracelets that have the wings of talk on it. Um, we will probably have those up here over the weekend too, as well as a few other things that we're going to put on the prototype page. But um, the prototype page, I believe, is where we're going to first put this little wrist size version um, just to see get feedback because that's what our prototypes are about is that we, we would like to be able to get feedback, have people play with these tools um, because we ourselves usually play with prototypes and work with them here and our circles and see if there's something that we actually want to produce. But we would like for, you know, to open up the circle for any of you who wish to play with some of these new tools to see if it's something you know, that you'd like to give your feedback on if we should produce or not. Um, so anyway, we will have um, a few additions to the prototype page coming up here by Monday. Um, let's see. And what else? The large set of this particular ring, pretty fantastic, phenomenal. And the pricing on it, even though the pricing on that large set of three rings is 444 in all actuality, that's a pretty dang good price for those rings because that 22 inch big ring then is only like a hundred and you know less than 120 bucks, which is a good price for that size and gauge of ring. But then you just get the three that are interwoven for 444. Um, not sure what the price is on these. 
Okay, then the next thing that we have going on that is super exciting. Oh, uh, to see the prototypes under the twistedsage.com website, and then you go to the online store from there. Um, at the online store, it's just listed as prototype product page is what it's listed as. Um, so, um, and with these three rings, um, it's just like the large one that I introduced last week of the, what we call the alchemist halo. And the last week's one that we introduced was a 22 inch set. Basically these contain the three alchemist rings in them. It is the, um, the vine I am the chalice and the harmonizer. And then when you bring all of three of those alchemist rings together, of course, you get that wisdom field. So these three rings are the alchemist. And then when they are together or in that center triangle space is the wisdom energetics. So could be a novelty thing. This little piece right here, I would almost say it's a novelty item or else wear it on the wrist, putting it over your water, making baskets, put it on your head if you want. Basically, it is a alchemist set of rings. These ones are a light gauge, simple, handy to carry with you and to use. The large set of alchemist rings I really like uh, are the alchemist halo because you can expand them out and they're about three and a half feet across when you expand out that set of rings. So it allows you to have a larger area that you cover with that larger set of alchemist rings. Um, okay, but then the, the newest thing, <clears throat> of course, is what I was working on releasing here this morning. Again, the page doesn't have a description at the moment. These little coils. Now we have the copper version. Pretty fantastic coil. Tell you what, with a lanyard, these things are only 44 bucks with the lanyard. Heck of a good price. So we were able to get this coil to like $36. Um, phenomenal coil. These are the quantum heart coils. Right now we have copper. There's a copper tube inside. It makes this little less than two inch coil heavy enough to use as a pendulum, which is pretty fantastic. Um, it's a similar energetics to the wisdom wand in that the wisdom wand creates this fibrous cocoon that comes around you. And in the center of that is that brilliant light, that light of you, um, untouched, untouchable, untainted, untaintable. It is you. And when you are in that space that this holds in that cocoon space, and you have the intention of drawing in all that you are, you bring in all of your soul aspects, you bring all that you are as a soul in. And as those aspects come in, it could be a lifetime an experience. Um, it could be an aspect that we create, such as the aspect that we have that drives a car, the aspect that we have that takes a shower, does the dishes, you know, that part of you that just comes in and does a job. It's like you're on autopilot and you just come in and you do the thing and you're done. That is an aspect of you that we create. You create that along the way. Um, you know, I've had several aspects that are not just that innocent that we have found some of them that actually come in. And at first I thought it was my ego. Every time I would jump on my motorcycle, I felt an aspect that I thought was my ego would come in and show me a vision of me tumbling across the highway and then show me a vision of my daughter mourning me. Every time I got on my motorcycle for about two weeks, that would happen. And I thought it was my ego and I thought it was trying to get messages. And I was, you know, I was like, whoa, wait, what? I was like, no, that's just my ego messing with me. Finally, I got a hold of my sister, Brenda. We looked at it. It was an aspect of me. That aspect, whether it was an incarnation or an experience, um, it had wrecked a vehicle, motorcycle, whatever, at some time. And so it had that fear and that trauma, and it would bring that to me, that fear and that trauma. 
So we cleared it. How we cleared it was we integrated it into the heart. When we do, we're not integrating the fear and all of the stuff. We are integrating the essence, the light and the wisdom of that aspect and everything else is dissolved, uncreated. These aspects that we carry, it's like we have a room. It's like all those who walk with us, but they are us. And it's, it's chatter, it's, it's influence, it's, it's old programs, old belief structures, old traumas. So for the past three weeks or so, um, I had COVID for two and a half weeks. I stayed home. I worked on this whole concept energetically for that two and a half weeks straight. And it's been about three and a half weeks now of integrating soul aspects of doing the cleaning, the clearing, the harmonizing, bringing everything into wisdom, incorporating, integrating. And this has been one of the biggest shifts that I have ever had because I have been more at peace. I don't have all the stuff. It's like before every moment was so full. It's like I had so much going on and it was just intense in every moment. And that's the way it's been for a long time. I always thought I was just overworked. Um, just intense in every moment because everything in that I am was vying for creation energy was vying for creation in each of those moments. I tell you, it has been peace. I have not had this peace. I don't think in any lifetime is what I like to say to people right now. Um, it has been a huge shift for me and I attribute it to the integration of aspects, turning those to wisdom, which is what these quantum heart coils are doing. A lot of the work, the, the workshops that we're doing this year in 2022 are going to be focused on the heart. Previous to this, they've always been focused on the clearing, the releasing, the, the, the funny stuff. That's what the workshops have always been focused on is the peeling away, the getting rid of all that stuff. This year, we are focusing on the heart because within the heart is all of these potentials and possibilities the quantum heart. So within our heart, we can be this huge transformer of our entire lineage of energy of our entire creation. That's what these little coil pendants are helping with. And again, super cheap little things. Um, difference between copper and silver? No. Right now we have, um, and this isn't stated on the website because that was already raised, but it will be back up there. Basically, right now we have the copper with copper tube, and then we have the silver with copper tube. This is a limited edition, the silver with the copper tube. It is fine silver with the copper tube in the center. We are going to be moving to the silver with silver tube. We don't have all the materials in for these yet. It'll be a couple of weeks. It'll probably be March before we have the silver silver in. But in the meantime, we have the silver copper. And again, these will be a limited run of these. Um, energetically, the silver, silver, it's a lot softer. Um, I really like the silver, silver. Um, the copper, copper, silver, 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 copper. They're all going to contain the same energetics. So it's pretty much what you were drawn to. But again, like I say, that that silver silver is just a little bit of a softer energy, it seems. Um, so my apologies. My daughter was texting me. Um, and then they the silver and the copper will both be available on an adjustable leather lanyard or else on a 24 inch box chain for the silver. <clears throat> Um, so I guess that's all I have for, for the new, um, for the new coil pendants. I see we have another question here. If you have any more questions and then we're going to jump into working with this new energy that just came through yesterday. Um, well, came through for me. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, it looks like I missed a few questions here. All right. Oh, from Brennan. I tried the wand generator in tent last night. Okay, so Brennan and I were talking. He just got a, a, a new wisdom wand and a golden fire generator. Now, a lot of you guys have, have gave us feedback on how phenomenal it is to put a wisdom wand inside of a generator. So that's what um, you know I suggested for Brennan here last night. So let's see what the results. The results seem unclear. Is there a tool that's best for keeping your home, your family and property most clear, such as the on the wings of talk? Okay, so with, with the wisdom wand, so what, what Brennan's working with is that there are geomagnetic lines, portal vortexes, um, trapped waywards with portal vortex, there's entities that come through all kinds of fun stuff. It's it's just the the space there that it, it's just a super highway. And so um, Brennan was wanting to clear that. So we got the golden fire generator and the wisdom wand. Now the golden fire generator is going to hold a field that will cross over like ghosts, waywards, you know, disincarnate spirits that are ready to go home. The wisdom wand is one that if that ghost wayward isn't ready to go home, that you need to do that little bit of extra work creating that column of light for it. Um, and then for like uh, portal vortexes, geomagnetic lines, um, those type of things, you pretty much need to anchor the column of light with the wisdom wand. Um, so you can go to the 50 questions Friday that we did um, that we, well, wait, no, actually it was the light anchoring um, workshop webinar that we did there was a light anchoring webinar though that white light anchoring webinar that we did there was a lot more information um the anchoring the light was towards the end or else you can go to our old light anchoring videos and it's going to be the same but anyway um to to clear port of vortexes such as what you have there on the property you're going to have to either do the columns of light or if you want to have a tool to do the work then yes, the wings of talk, the on the wings of talk is the tool that we created specifically for portal vortexes, clearing entities, and in that intense, deep environmental and personal clearing work. So the wings of talk is one that can do things a little bit more automatically versus if you have the wisdom wand, I, I, you're, you're going to have to learn how to use it to create those columns of light to, to clear those, to clear those faces. Um, so let's see, Andrea, how's the alchemist halo different from the alchemist set with the wisdom ring? So the, <clears throat> the alchemist halo is no different than the alchemist set. It's just simply that these are interwoven so that they are always together as a set of three rings. Um, you know, and of course there's other physical differences to lighter gauge, all of that. But energetically, the alchemist halo is going to be the exactly the same energetics as the alchemist set. Um, like I say, it's almost more novelty because you have them all together, but I know that there's other uses, especially for the 22 inch rings. Um, you know, because too, with the alchemist halo, you can set it up to where you have the three dimensional shape, spherical shape, which kind of acts like a tensor field generator in that it radiates through the space. Um, next question from, oh gosh, Oops, sorry here. Okay. Another question. Interested in the Merkaba activation in person. I did read under resources a bit, but not certain I understand the process. Is the meditation something I do myself or do I work with you? Well, I live in Hot Springs. Well, fantastic. You know, Denise, you are welcome to come um, and hang out in person. I'd be happy to do a session with you here. But really, the Merkaba activation is um, when you go to online, whether you're going to our resources page on Twisted Sage under the resources, there is the Merkaba uh, resource page. And underneath of that Merkaba resource page, there's a video there that you can listen, um, watch or else there's 
gosh, we actually have a lot of videos over the years on the Merkaba activation, but I believe that one should have that newest video right there and available for you. And so the video that you watch, is just a free video, and you can also go to crystalmerkaba.com, and there's a link on that page there. And, and that's just our website that we have dedicated to the Merkaba. Our YouTube channel has a ton of Merkaba activation videos. But when you find the video that you want to watch, and I would suggest probably one of the newer ones, um, you just uh, follow along the video. It'll walk you through the meditation into the heart space and the activation of the Merkaba field and the setting the intentions, the, the programs that you put into your field. Um, super simple, easy, but no, you are totally welcome to come to the studio as well. Um, JR, is each ring in the alchemist set a different gauge or can you tell the difference for each? So no, in the, um, <clears throat> oh, sorry, in the alchemist halo, I assume you're asking. In the alchemist halo, no, these are all the same gauge of ring and they're all the same measurement. They're all the same size. So you cannot physically tell the difference between the rings, but energetically you can catch the three different energetics in there. And then where they have a Vesca Pisces in here, then you'll have the two energetics in here, here, and here, you know, the energetics of these two together here. Um, and then of course, the energetics of all three in the center. But no, you, there's no physical way to tell the difference between the energetics of each of the rings in that alchemist halo. Uh, does the wisdom wand do the same work as the quantum heart of integration of the wisdom energy? Um, no, there is actually a difference between the quantum heart energetics and the wisdom wand. Um, okay, no, let me take that back. The wisdom wand, to me, you can do more with because you can use it to run the energy with versus just this little toroidal field that the coils produce, you know, that tube torus. Um, to me, the difference between these is that, um, okay, you have a really good question there, JR, because yes, the field that that cocoon that this creates has so much more in it than the wisdom wand did. But we're going to sit with it and we're going to pull the energetics from this quantum heart coil and we're going to put that into the wisdom wand to up grade and update the wisdom wand because that field that is in here currently which is currently not in the wisdom wand is a little bit beyond quite a bit beyond that field that the wisdom wand creates but we will put this field into the wisdom wand and into the smaller wisdom wands the quantum wisdom and the mini wisdom and the full-size wisdom wands we will put this field into the wands. So your wands will receive an update upgrade um, here soon over the weekend. Um, so yeah, good question. Thank you for asking that, JR. But yeah, no, the right now, currently the field that is in here, and I'm certain we're able to put this energetics into the wand. Um, who knows, there might be a couple of things that aren't going in i don't know but we'll, we'll we'll work with that over the weekend here i'm sure to get the energetics into those wisdom wands um and you can actually sit with your wisdom wand too and ask for the update to occur right now you don't have to wait for us so you can hold the wisdom wand you can ask that the wisdom wand carries the same energetics as the quantum heart coil um and you'll be able to pull it through into the wisdom wand so yeah, you can totally do that before we before we do. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and step in. Um, so we won't do any more questions right now. We're going to go ahead and jump into unless anybody has a question right now. But we're going to go ahead and jump into the introduction to this new energy that we're working with. Um, very synchronistic. Um, yesterday I had, well, I was going to see if I can find a picture to show you, but I won't. Um, 
yesterday we started working with a gentleman that we're going to be making some rings for who creates giant geometries um and he sent me a picture of an arcturian and she's holding this golden ball at her sternum and you know and i was like wow there's something with that and you know i thought it was interesting he told me a little bit about his connection with her and everything and then um <clears throat> had a session yesterday with with a friend who's probably on here right now um and we were working at in the session we were working at getting the ego to integrate with the heart um to surrender to let go so that all of the structures of belief and all of that stuff mainly the belief structures could be let go of and dissolved so that the ego did not you know have those limitations and those drives and and, and everything else um it just clears the ego takes away all of its um all, all the crap um that the ego has 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 been limited by and has had to work through those structures through lifetimes and so trying to figure out how um with the session to allow the ego to release that and wanted to be able to connect it with the heart because bringing through that field of the soul would be the best way to work with the ego but that ball golden ball came out somewhere around that quantum heart area um there is actually a video that brenda did called the quantum heart activation and it's on youtube now truthfully i have never been able to figure out or access that quantum heart you know as brenda describes it um until now with this cocoon that these tools are producing that that fibrous cocoon and in the center is that untaintable and untainted light which is you so um this golden ball came out of that space of the where the quantum heart you know out of that that sternum area and this golden ball came up and the soul grabbed it and gave it to the ego as soon as it did it started to that golden ball started to dissolve those patterns um those patterns that the ego gets stuck in through lifetimes and feels it's my soul mission whatever but it started to dissolve those patterns um and it was huge and it has been huge for this person um even yet today so then i sat with brenda um and we did it we were doing a reading on the coils she's been bringing this golden ball um it's been appearing to her for a few days and with clients the clients that she is that that can actually grab onto that golden ball some can't some don't find it but those who do holy shift um i believe that golden ball is going to go in here i believe it is if not we are going to create a pendant soon that will hold this next level energetic but here we go i would love to be able to introduce you all to this energetic um and in all actuality this beautiful one-of-a-kind prototype silver silver coil has the ball in it um it's already in there so this is the coil that if you wish to uh, connect with, you know, you can always connect with this coil because it is going to hold that energetic. I was going to see if I might be able to get it to. Um, see if I can get it to focus on there or not. Oh, no. Sorry, I was trying to camera, get the camera to focus on this coil. Um, you don't really even need a visual. Here we go. Let's just close our eyes and we'll use that as our visual. So closing your eyes, going to your physical heart, finding your light, connecting heart to heart with the earth and breathing in that light of the earth. Connecting heart to heart with creation, source, soul, creator, God, breathing in that light into the heart. The third breath is breathing in that energy of both earth and creation into the heart. And you are in the heart as well. 
when you are in the heart and all of us are connected, we're going to ask your soul to step in and hand you, either hand you or hand your ego, your mind, whatever it is, just be open to receive this golden ball of light as your soul offers it to you. Do whatever it is that you feel to do with this golden ball of light. Sit and look at it, hold it in your hands, put it in your heart, sit it on your head. Whatever it is that you're drawn, you can do no wrong. Whatever you do is perfect and right and correct. Some of you breathe it in and eat it. Some of you put it into the stomach, the sternum. Some of you expand it around you. If it feels intense, it's okay. Just allow it. Allow it to go through. It only takes moments. As it brings together all that you are, it brings in your wisdom. It brings in your light more. It brings in those soul aspects, invites them in back home, back to you, bringing in their wisdom, bringing in their wisdom to you. All right. And I will leave you in this space. Just keep playing with that golden ball of light. It is yours. You can keep it. Beautiful. All right. I'll look forward to some feedback here on our next 50 questions Friday. All right. Take care, everybody.